Beautiful project. Four solar panels, 70 watt peak each, and super wind, wind turbine running free right now because I have final connection to be done. That's my stop switch. That she's running free. Battery monitor. Uh, solar charge controller 1, solar charge controller 2, charge controller for a wind turbine. It has also braking resistor. Yeah. So when the battery is full, it's heating the braking resistor. And then there is a whole bunch of mess. This uh, place uh, shouldn't have AC. But at the end they decided to have AC. And this 1.2 kilowatt inverter I had in the van, so it's here for now. Every parameter is online through the servo, which is battery, level, one solar charger, second solar charger and the inverter, because they all connected here battery monitor, solar charger, solar charger and inverter through USB to VE direct. Okay, let me finish this and I would say this will be close to the end. I just need to bring power supply to this one. This is power over the internet injector. So there is a weather station somewhere here, a people counter and a free Wi-Fi is coming. Fiber optic connection of course is here. This is internal modem so they're gonna put the antenna on the mast for the public Wi-Fi access point. Beautiful machine. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen, here is a VRM portal uh, for this project. It's a pilot project, uh, that's why forgive me the mess with the cables. And again, I'm guilty here of uh, destroying uh, one of the charge controllers for the wind turbine because I did not have the plus terminal for the plus cable out of the charge controller to the battery properly secured. It was loose and that's, that was probably what destroyed the charge controller. Lucky Superwind uh, have sent me another one. Hopefully they're not going to charge me for the new one. Uh, this is the website of the turbine. Uh, I know those guys for a while. I know it's a very good machine and that's why I uh, choose this one for this project because the wind could be very extreme there. Uh, location just on the Atlantic coast, Inch Beach. Uh, the solar panels I was expecting 70 watts, they not 70 watts, they like about half the price, so someone was cheating here. Anyway, uh, sorry. Those two charge control, uh, solar panels in front uh, are on one charge controller and the other two were on the other charge controller. But I decide not to use those two panels east-west and I just add two more panels on the, on the ground for the system. But, uh, sorry again, winter was there, winter was there. And in a winter, there is not much, not much more, not much sun. And so we were relying on the wind turbine and lucky, lucky we got everything ready for the winter. So I show you on the graphs right now, everything was working fine, but uh, we got a period when there was no energy and I was coming there with the with my van and I was trying to recharge the battery out of the van and stuff like this. Uh, so the system is finally self-sufficient. Oh, here you go. Oh, here is my two panels I added to the fence. 
But anyway, uh, just recently we got a lots of lots of lots of wind, so the system charged back to the full battery voltage, and the braking resistor was even in operation, taking that extra power from the turbine. The turbine has a passive uh, pitch, so the angle of the blades can change. Uh, but uh, even so, the braking resistor is helping to. It's improving operation of the wind turbine when the battery is full. At the top graph here, we can see battery voltage and current. Uh, as you can see here in September, we were dropping below 18 volts. That means completely empty because this is a 24 volt battery system. So we got periods. Uh, where, where we got black blackouts and nothing was online but uh, but I resolved that issue it was it was a while when we got uh, problems with this but then after I put back the proper charge controller the battery voltage as you can see here came back to 29 and from from December we are good. Here is a period when there is no wind, the voltage is dropping, but here is a period when there is a wind. On this graph we can see both charge controllers together, so my ground solar system on one charge controller and those two panels on the other charge controller, but as you can see peak power of both about 30 watts. Here I can see them separately, I don't remember which one is which one. Oh, I think here 30 watts from this one, 5 from this one. Hard to say, not that important. Uh, well, it is important, but for me, uh, through the winter, it looks like turbine is bringing most of the energy. For the summer, uh, the solar panels will be bringing probably more. Here is temperature sensor inside the cabinet. As you can see, 6. And here we got. 30, not maybe not the best temperature for the AGM battery, but uh, summer. Here is battery state of charge. Oh, here we have a period with uh, no wind. Here we have a period with no wind, exactly. Uh, this graph uh, is showing nicely uh, energy going in and out of the battery. Below the axe is in the, to the battery. Above the, arc, above the axe is from the battery. So, uh, as you can see here, there was almost constant usage of 20, 23, 24 watts. And here, charging with 170 watts. Uh, battery monitor was recording ampere hours being pulled and pushed in back to the battery and as you can see when it's windy it can the system can recharge in fourth fifth sixth two days it was two days of wind here and it's windy since yes believe me it's windy since 6th of february yeah anything below ax means you're generating more than we're using so yeah same graph as above it's here battery power in and out just this graph uh, reversed and yeah that's it also deepest discharge uh, is recorded every parameter is there uh, turbine is surviving uh, winds up to 130 kilometers per hour wind either system is online right now uh, not much wind right now DC power consumption 24 watts. No, yes, yes or no? Yeah, there is some solar right now. Yeah, sorry. Solar generation and the consumption is exactly the same at this second when I'm recording this, which is today, 2nd of March. Okay, end of talking. I'll show you a few pictures how we assemble this. And uh, thanks for watching.
End of summer, back at Inch Beach, and I have replaced that big 1200 watt inverter with this little DC to DC converter. Let's see the power consumption. Solar chargers are off, so let's see. Let's go for the v Venus, sorry, servo, de servo device. Servo device is pulling minus 4 watts. Now minus 4, minus 4. Now this power over internet. Another 4 watts. Now this. Oh, this one is pulling a lot. 11 watts. 4 watts, 11 watts. Now time for this, which is router, that device, and that device. It's in here. Oh, not too bad. Only five watts. And now put let's put back the wind turbine. Doing nothing. And let's put back the solar system. Minus dropping and in the perfect balance. Usage to generation. Well, maybe not. At the same time, I'm trying to charge this battery a little bit. Oh using my onboard 220 inverter and a 24 volt charger but it looks like it's kicking on and off on and off 
because it's slightly too strong for this inverter which I have there under the seat so I'm getting lots of alarms overload warning, high temperature warning battery voltage 11 it's connected directly to the car battery but it's charging until it gets hot it's charging nicely with 300 watts which is a lot of amps 12.6 amp something very interesting I have increased output voltage to 245 and uh, and there is no overload anymore it's just high temperature and low voltage better working better charging more stable charging with 300 watts nice maybe 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 I can go swimming okay the wind speed is about 20 knots turbine is working battery is full and here is resistor which is warm it's warm oh it's nice and warm <laughs> there you go